Welcome back to the studios, everyone. We're all familiar with the tedious task of finishing 3D prints, spending countless hours sending away to achieve a smooth surface. We envy resin prints for their lack of layer lines. But what if I told you that you could achieve the same level of perfection with PLA? Today, I'll show you a quick way to get rid of all layer lines and smooth PLA within minutes by using 3D printing resin. The products on the table are all the supplies you'll need. You'll need a tray to keep your workspace clean. Additionally, prepare some toilet paper or wipes for cleaning purposes. A cup is required for pouring the resin and gloves are necessary to prevent any harm to your skin. If you're using an UV lamp, make sure to wear UV glasses to block out the UV rays. Alternatively, if you don't have a UV lamp, you can use a curing machine. However, for bigger prints, a lamp is the only option. Also, a respirator is a must to avoid inhaling any chemicals. Next, you'll need a bottle of UV resin. Lastly, you'll need a large brush since it makes it easier to apply even layers of resin. As you can see, there are a bunch of layer lines on this print. This was printed on a 0.4mm nozzle. In the future, I might make a video about slush of settings as well. For the gaps and holes, you must use Bondo or wood filler, but for the rest, we can apply resin. So I start by pouring some resin into a cup. You don't need much, I'm using what I have left in the bottle from my previous print. Then I gently soak the brush in some resin and start applying some coats. You don't want the resin to be too thick since it will cure slower and uneven. After a single layer of coating, I can use an UV lamp and go slowly over the resin. If the print can fit, I'll just put it inside a cure station for 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't want to spend extra money, you can also set the print outside for a couple of hours of sunlight. When everything is cured, you can use a 240 grit sandpaper to quickly go over the cured resin. From here, it just sends like a resin print. It's dense and feels like a smooth brick. After hitting the print with some primer, this is how smooth the top part is. And I can conclude that this is the method you'll see me using in my future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next week.